Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to root the OnePlus 8 uh, or the OnePlus 8 Pro. Um, so let's go ahead and just use the OnePlus 8 Pro. It's pretty much the same thing for the OnePlus 8. Um, it's this root method you can also use on any of the older OnePlus products, such as the OnePlus 7T, OnePlus 6, uh, for Android 10 rooting. The method is exactly the same. The only thing different is uh, the firmware file. So the first thing you want to do is go to your phone and make sure um, you have an unlock bootloader. Um, if you don't know how to unlock the bootloader, check out my page uh, at highonandroid.com. How to unlock bootloader on Android, um, Android Root 101. All right, I'll put the link in the description. Follow this to unlock your bootloader. And once you have unlocked the bootloader, um, you can go ahead and double check that you have an unlock bootloader by going to settings um, and going into about phone and go ahead and hit the build number a bunch of times until it says you're a developer hit the back button uh, go to system developer options and you should see oem unlocking just like that and it should be grayed out and it should be on if you have done that you're good to go and this root method will not erase everything anything on your phone all right so next what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and download the firmware and what you're going to do is go to about phone and look at the build number and you'll see it says oxygen os 10.5.4 all right so next you're going to go to uh the oneplus site if you go to the oneplus.com firmware download and then go ahead and set your phone to oneplus 8 pro uh if you're using regular oneplus 8 obviously you change that to oneplus 8 and double check the version number here and you will see that the version number matches 10.5.4 matches 10.5.4 all right, um, you just need to match the 10.5.4, the number. All right, uh, if it's sometimes uh, what happens is uh, OnePlus will actually push out the newer firmware update. For example, for this phone, you can actually update it to 10.5.5. But if you use a firmware off 10.5.4, um, your Wi-Fi will break because I just tried it and other things might break. So uh, what I suggest you to do is wait. Um, do not update your phone until uh, the same version is available on available on the OnePlus site. So go ahead and download the uh, firmware. And if you go into your downloads folder after you download it, you'll see the firmware file. Um, for mine, it's going to be OnePlus 8 Pro, blah, 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 dot zip. Go ahead and double click it, uh, extract all, all right? And that will give you a folder called OnePlus 8 Pro, blah, 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 all right? And in here, you'll see payload.bin. All right, um, we need to extract the boot.img. So to do this, we need a tool called, uh, we need a, a payload unpacker. And you can go ahead and go to uh, highonandroid.com and go to rooting and go to Majisk and SuperSU. All right, once you go here, if you go all the way down to firmware tools, you'll see payload unpacker. Go ahead and click on that. Um, go ahead and scroll down and where it says, please wait, seconds to download wait till it turns click here to download go ahead and click here to download all right i've actually downloaded once um so next go ahead and go back to your downloads folder and go ahead and uh, unzip the payload dumper blah blah dot zip and once you unzip it uh, you, you get a folder called payload dumper dash win 64. double click on that folders and go into payload input folder all right, and this is where you're gonna go ahead and put the payload.bin. Um, let me go ahead and open up another, uh, let me see, new, oops. Go ahead and open up another uh, file, file explorer and go back to your download folder. Uh, go back to the firmware folder that you unzipped your uh, payload.bin. Go ahead and do a right click copy and go ahead and paste it into payload.input directory. All right, after that, all, all you're gonna do, let me go ahead and erase all this. This is from the previous uh, output. Uh, what you're gonna do is go ahead and double click on payload.dumper and this will extract all the appropriate files from the firmware. This is how you also extract all the files you need. Uh, but you can go ahead and close out once it passes boot because you don't need any of these files. You don't have to waste time. So just um, uh, exit out of that and then go back to payload underscore output, and you'll have your boot image. This is 
the boot image you need for this particular version of the OnePlus 8 uh, Pro that I've got here. If you have a OnePlus 8, same thing. It's just going to be different uh, firmware uh, folder, firmware file, and also previous OnePlus products. If you have OnePlus 6T, uh, if you have Android 10, you can also go ahead and use this method to extract the boot.img. So once you have extracted this, uh, what you want to do is connect your phone to your computer as a disk drive, uh, and then go ahead and copy, and go ahead and go into your uh, OnePlus 8 Pro, uh, go to your download folder, and paste it here. All right? And also you will need uh, the latest Majisk Canary. So what you want to do, ah, hold on, close. Uh, what you want to do is go back to highonandroid.com and go ahead and download uh, on the same page, Majisk and SuperSU, where you downloaded the payload unpacker. Go ahead and download the Majisk Manager Canary 2020 APK for Android 10. Go ahead and click there and download link is here. Just wait five seconds and click here to download. And that will download the latest Majisk Manager uh, Canary. So you'll want to uh, go back to your downloads folder and go ahead and copy the Majisk Manager Canary uh, 2020.apk, copy, and go to your OnePlus 8 uh, internal storage, go to download, and go ahead and right click paste. All right. Uh, once you have done that, uh, we're ready to go. We're going to go into our phone. And what we're going to do is uh, we are going to uh, go ahead and open up the file manager. And you're going to go into your downloads folder. And you're going to go ahead and install Majisk Manager Canary 2020. Um, you can go into settings. Don't worry. This is a real safe file from uh, Top John Wu. A lot from this source. Hit the back button. Install. And this will install Majisk Manager Canary. Now, this is different from the regular, um, regular version of uh, Majisk because this will allow you to uh, install and patch, or sorry, patch your boot.img. So once you have the Majisk open, you're going to go into install, allow, um, hit next, and you're going to go ahead and select and patch a file, and you're going to go ahead and choose boot.img, and go ahead and hit next. All right, when that's done, you'll see a patching disk and it will store as Majisk uh, underscore patch.img. So what you're gonna do is unplug your phone and plug it back in because it won't show unless you replug it. And we're gonna go back to our computer, go open up your file manager, go into, uh, uh, actually what you wanna do, the first thing is you'll also need fastboot.zip. So go back to, whoops. Go back to my site and go to routing and go to fastboot.zip, ADB, and Android USB drivers. And go ahead and download a fastboot.zip. And also, you'll need Android USB drivers if you have not installed drivers. By the way, you will need, you can actually do this without Windows also. Uh, the commands are literally the same, um, but you just have to enter dot slash dash Mac, uh, also dot slash dash Linux, sudo for Linux. All right, I won't get into um, using Mac or Linux, um, but you should be able to figure it out. Um, so go ahead and download the fastboot.zip. Click here to download, and that will download fastboot.zip. And go back to your downloads folder, and go ahead and double click on fastboot.zip and extract all. And that'll give you a folder called fastboot, all right, with all the files you need. And also, uh, also go ahead and download um, the Android USB drivers. All right, uh, if you have not installed the drivers, but if you did unlock the bootloader, you should have this installed, so you could probably skip this step. All right, um, but you can go ahead and download it if you didn't install the drivers or you're using a different computer. All right, anyway, next we're gonna go back to the downloads folder and we're gonna go ahead and find, um, we're gonna go into your phone and go into the download directory and we're gonna go ahead and copy the majisk underscore patch. This is the patch file with a root enabled. So go ahead and copy, go back to your downloads folder, uh, fastboot directory, right click paste. All right, next we're gonna go ahead and um, go ahead and open up a command prompt. 
Go ahead and uh, go to start type CMD, hit enter. And you're gonna go ahead and type CD downloads and go ahead and type CD fastboot. And you can also install a fastboot and ADB using um, the regular uh, Android, but you have to download 30 minutes of it. This is just a shortened version of it. And I recommend this method because it works every time. Um, if you're having trouble, you might be using the wrong fastboot. Just use the one I provided. It's, it just works out of the box. You won't have get into problems. Um, next, go back to your phone. And what you're gonna do is I'll go into settings, go into uh, system, go to developer options, and make sure USB debugging is checked on. All right. And next, we're gonna go ahead and type ADB. Oops, go back to um, your command prompt and type ADB devices. All right, go ahead and do that. And when you do that, there should be an ADB uh, pop-up Choose always allow and hit allow. All right, and go ahead and type ADB devices again and you should see a random number and device, then you're ready to go. So we're gonna reboot into fastboot, just type ADB reboot uh, bootloader. And this will boot you into fastboot. All right, you'll see your phone rebooting into fastboot. And while that's going, we can go ahead and type uh, fastboot space flash space boot space uh, mag magisk just type mag and then uh, hit the tab key and it'll fill it out for you if it doesn't fill it out you don't have the this file in this directory so make sure you have that um that's pretty much it go ahead and hit enter and you should see uh, okay okay next go ahead and type fastboot space reboot now, if you're using uh, Linux, by the way, uh, or Mac, you just need to add dot slash dash Mac like that. Or if you're using Linux, it's going to be um, like that and then add sudo in front. You can also use Chromebook. Um, you can go ahead and download the Chromebook uh, ADB from the Chrome store, web store, and you can just type same as Windows. All right? The directories might be different, but uh, pretty much the commands are the same. So when you are done flashing, you're pretty much rooted. And go ahead and type uh, fastboot reboot. And we should have a fully a rooted OnePlus 8 Pro or the OnePlus 8. Um, and you'll see, you'll get this uh, weird error. Don't worry about it. This is completely normal for newer Android uh, 10 and Android 9. And you will have to do this every time you update the firmware. Um, you can still update your firmware on the OnePlus devices. Uh, after you update to the new firmware, you'll have to download the new firmware and do all of this. That's sort of pain. So just make sure you know how to do it. And once you know how to do it, it only takes you like five minutes to do it. So when you're done, go into Magisk Manager and give it a second here and boom shakalaka you will see um, status normal. That means you have fully rooted your phone. Now, if you wanna verify you have full root, go ahead and download Titanium Backup app, install, open, and you should see a super user request window. Hit open, and boom shakalaka. So there you have it. Um, now you have a fully rooted phone. Again, uh, when you update, let's say right now, if I'm gonna update, if I wanna be on the latest, I can actually update it to the 10.5.5. All right, download. It will still install. That will get rid of your root because it's installing the new boot.img. So what you will have to do is go back to a OnePlus site and go ahead and download the uh, new firmware for 10.5.5 and then extract uh, the boot.img, patch it, and do the same thing. All right. Now, you may be able to find the new firmware file um, other places, maybe on XDA, but I do recommend just downloading off oneplus.com for safety. And that's how you root your OnePlus 8 or 8 Plus, 8, 8 Pro, sorry. <laughs> actually, mine actually says, uh, I've got a special version, <laughs> and it says OnePlus 8 Plus. This is a special version that OnePlus 8 sent me, just, just for me. <laughs> but it's, it's just the same as OnePlus 8 Pro. Anyway, have a great day, guys. Now you should have a fully rooted OnePlus 8 or OnePlus 8 Pro. And you've also 
uh, learn how to extract the boot.img, which is really important. So next time there's a system upgrade, and you can download the new firmware and update the root and regain root. And this way, you're not dependent on somebody else's boot.img. Again, don't download some random boot.img from XDA because you have to make sure the version's made for your firmware. That's why it's better to do, do everything yourself. But if you can find the right version, that'll work too. Just make sure, double check that it's the same version. Otherwise, you'll lose Wi-Fi and Bluetooth and other things might break. All right? Uh, have a great day. And as always, stay whole on Android.